The frequency and impact of cybercrime on healthcare organizations continues to increase. Over the past few months, uh, we have witnessed cybersecurity breaches reported by three of the Blue Cross Blue Shield organizations, Anthem, Primera, and CareFirst, and there have been many others. The Poneman Institute recently released its fifth annual benchmark study on patient privacy and data security, and for the first time, criminal attacks are the number one cause of breaches of healthcare data. The FBI sounded the alarm on these risks over a year ago. In April 2014, they published a private industry notice stating that healthcare systems and medical devices are at risk for increased cyber intrusions for financial gain. They went on to say that the healthcare industry is not technically prepared to combat against cyber criminals' basic cyber intrusion tactics, techniques, and procedures, much less against more advanced persistent threats. And they said that the healthcare industry is not as resilient to cyber intrusions compared to financial and retail sectors, and therefore the possibility of increased cyber intrusion is likely. Healthcare executives are rightly asking whether their own organizations are adequately prepared to protect against the attackers who are currently targeting healthcare. So, how does a CIO or CISO answer that question? And the reality is that most healthcare organizations do not have an adequate cybersecurity program and need to make rapid improvements, as the FBI pointed out a year and a half ago. So this will require improvements and investments in resources, processes, and technologies to prevent and detect attacks and to adequately protect patient data.